Homer can help you set up an electric load quickly and easily with as much customization as you want. To start, click on the Load tab in the ribbon and click Electric Number 1. The load represents the electrical power the system must provide at each time step. If you have load data already, you can import it as a time series file in this box. Otherwise, you can create a load based on Homer's preset load profiles. These are called synthetic loads. There are four basic types residential, commercial, industrial, and community, or you can create a custom profile. For now, we will select a commercial profile. Since this example is in a temperate climate in the northern hemisphere, we will select a peak month of July. If we were building a project in the southern hemisphere, in Australia for example, we might pick the month of January. Now we can see an overview of the load we just created, including a July peak and a yearly profile, which we call a DMAP. The DMAP is a color-coded visual representation of an entire year's electric load. Starting at January 1st, the time of day is represented by the y-axis, and the day of the year is represented by the x-axis. The closer to the red end of the spectrum, the higher the electricity usage. By hovering your mouse over any particular point on the DMAP, you can see the exact electrical load at that time step. The load we start with is called the baseline load and you can see its statistics here. The scaled annual average is the average kilowatt hours per day over the course of the year. By adjusting this, you can quickly scale the default load profile to meet your needs. For example, if you know your load will use half as much power as the default load, you can enter that number in the scaled annual average. This will effectively cut the electrical load in half at each time step. When you click the plot button, you will see a time series for the scaled data. You can zoom and focus on a particular part of the year, and we will add the baseline data to the same chart. The baseline data in red is double that of the scaled data. The scaled data retains the shape and statistical characteristics of the baseline data, but differs in that it is half the value of the original baseline data. This is a quick and easy method to model your data for your project. As you acquire more information about the actual load you are modeling, you can import hourly or minute load data if it is available. Thank you for watching the Homer Software Training Series. We are here to help you learn about microgrids. If you are a trial user, please contact us at support at homerenergy.com for more information on how to become a licensed user. We have additional training available for our licensed users. Visit gethomertraining.com to learn more.